Hi boys and girls, I have a new story to share with you. This one is called Always in Trouble by Corrine Demis. It is a reading counts book, so after you listen to the story, you can log in and take the quiz. This book is about a puppy who's always in trouble. His name's Toby, but he reminds me of my puppy, Max. If you have a dog, maybe you can relate to the story too. Emma's dog, Toby, was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. And on Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Something has got to be done about that dog, said Emma's mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. She took him for walks. She brushed his fur. She sang him songs. But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. On Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. He was very good on Thursday. He was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. And on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and ran across the clean kitchen floor. Something has got to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to a dog training school, said Emma. What a great idea, said Emma's mom. The first class started the next day. There were ten dogs in Toby's class. Some were big, some were little. Some barked. Some yipped and some growled and whined. Toby was as quiet as a goldfish. Hmm, if he's as quiet as a goldfish, what do you think that means? Do you think that means he's barking or is he just kind of sitting in the corner and not making any noise? He behaved perfectly at school every week and he did everything just right. When Emma said sit, he sat. When Emma said come, he came. When Emma said, heel, he stood right beside her. Good dog, Toby. He was the best dog, said Mrs. Katz, the teacher, when the classes were all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a gold seal. Emma's mom tacked the diploma on the wall low. Sorry, let me say that again. Emma's mom tacked the diploma low down on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby. Here's Mrs. Katz. She's giving him the diploma with a gold seal. And then here they are putting the diploma on the wall above Toby's food bowl to remind him that he's a good doggy and he knows how to behave. Uh-oh. It didn't last very long. On Monday, Toby got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just baked. Look at Emma's dad. He doesn't look very happy about him eating his cookies, does he? On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke everyone up. On Friday, he wet the rug. And on Saturday, he dug up the petunias that Emma and her mom had just planted. On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has got to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Emma took Toby back to dog school. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like he really wants to go. She's pulling on him. Does he sit? Asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he come? Asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he heal? Asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Well, then what's the trouble? 
asked Mrs. Katz. Emma told her. I see, said Mrs. Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you're going to have to leave him with me for the week. Okay, said Emma. Emma missed Toby all week. He was very happy to see her when she picked him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. Hmm, I wonder if he's going to be a good doggy now. What do you predict? Do you think he's going to listen and behave? On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. On Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. Mm, I think I need to take my doggy to a special training school where he can learn to do all those things. But no dog can be perfect always. Not even Toby. Even though he's trained to do all those very cool things, he can't be good all the time. There he is chasing a squirrel. I thought that was a cute story. I hope you enjoyed it too.